Hello everybody. In this video I will show how to start working with data visualization in Python. I will show a very basic example of how to draw a point-based graph in HTML format. For this example I am using Jupyter Notebook web-based Python framework. First of all, let's create a new Python script here. It's appear in new browser tab. Let's start scripting. For creating graph is good to use Bogek Interactive Visualization Library. So for creating a chart we must choose chart in Bogek library. And import scatter model from there. Scatter pass the attribution data to data frame like axis labels and variables. The next step is to import pandas library that is for struct data structures and data analysis. Now we are going to give the attributional data for our data frame by using scatter. P variable is responsible for that. So scatter method will take all the attributional data. The f is our data frame variable. Let's define axis x and y. Let's name x axis as x capital and y axis as y capital. Graph must have a title. Let's name the title as currency rate. Now we must to give labels to both axes. First, for x axis label is, for this example, days of months. And label for y axis. Let's say the label for each axis is while the currency rate USD dollars versus euros. Now let's input real values of data into the data frame. Till now the F has attributional data, so now is the time to write some real data inside. For X axis and for Y axis. All values should be written in array inside the brackets for each axis. For example, define values for x axis like this. And for y axis, which is value at the currency rate dollars versus euros, like this. As you can see here are float numbers inside this array. Ok, for write our result to some kind of file, for publishing we must care about output. For this we have to import output file class from Bogek library. Now we are able to define the output file name and directory. It is only one simple line as you can see here. Just write the name of result file as you wish to get and that's all. Don't forget to add HTML extension to the end of file name. Now we achieved the final step of this project. It is publishing in your browser. For this purpose just import show class from Bokeh. What is the rest is just to call show command for demonstrating the result at the end of the code. Be careful, we output variable p, not a df because of scatter. Oops, we got error concerning df variable. It's logical. We did not define df variable in our code.
let's define the DF variable now. Definition of data frame DF must be implemented by Panda library because Panda is responsible for working with data structures and data frames. We have to define columns in data frame method. It is X vector and Y vector that we have defined before here. Okay, try again to run the project. As you could to guess, the result graph appears in HTML format page in new browser tab. Here is the values in our Python code and the same values in the graph. Okay, it's simple to understand. Here is the label of Y axis. and the label of x-axis that is defined in our Python code. Here is a tool palette that you can use for review of your results. You can save the result graph as PNG image like this and manipulate the view as you want. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe me to get more.